patient-centered outcomes research is really about giving institutional naming and recognition to the importance of having patients' voices be part of our understanding of what makes good clinical care. And that ranges from how do we train doctors to how do we design research studies. So it's a paradigm shift. And I think the existence of PCORI is something that I actually mention to my students all the time as a way of showing them that this movement of patient-centered care is real, it's not just rhetoric. As a scholar who does health research and health technology research, but from a humanities background, um, most of my colleagues in the humanities are not aware of PCORI even if they're in a medical humanities program. And I think there's a missed opportunity there to capture thinking from outside of medicine, um, but that is very oriented toward bringing the patient's voice into the medical setting. I think that that would bring in some voices that are unconventional voices within medicine, but that have both deep expertise and a wealth of research knowledge that could really benefit patients. So my advice to other researchers that would like to incorporate patient-centered research, uh, the first thing I would suggest is to get on Twitter if they're not already. And I say that because uh, a lot of patient groups communicate on Twitter. I think it's important um, both to immerse yourself in the social networks of these patients in order to get an understanding of what's important to those patients. And then talk to patients directly and learn from them. Give them a space to verbalize what matters to them so that you can integrate that into your research strategies. So when partnering with patients um, who are actively patients, that does mean that those patients um, have health concerns that may have unpredictable timelines and that may interfere with their ability always to stay on the same timeline that you're on um, and which, of course, take priority. The reality is that even if someone, say, doesn't get sick, um, collaborating with people who are not academics um, means being accommodating to other um, life pressures, to other kinds of schedules. Doing this kind of work, um, it's a paradigm shift not only for, say, medicine writ large or for research writ large, but also for individual roles in research projects. And it requires a uh, deep understanding and empathy, and it also requires adaptability.